10 things to avoid in docker containers so i'm going to read this article this is a very interesting article to understand more on docker containers so you finally surrendered to containers and discovered that they solve a lot of problems and have a lot of advantages first containers are immutable the operating system library versions configurations folders and applications are all wrapped inside the container you guaranteed that the same image that was tested in qa will reach the production environment with the same behavior second containers are lightweight the memory footprint of a container is small instead of hundreds of thousands of mbs the container will only allocate the memory for the main process third containers are fast you can start a container as fast as a typical linux process takes to start instead of minutes you can start a new container in a few seconds however many users are still treating containers just like a typical virtual machines and forget that containers have an important characteristic containers are disposable so this is the main things we have to remember whenever we are designing any application to deploy in a container containers are disposable the mantra around containers containers are ephemeral this characteristic forces users to change their mindset on how they should handle and manage containers and i will explain what you should not do to keep extracting the best benefit of the containers number 1 don't store data in containers a container can be stopped destroyed or replaced an application version 1.0 running in container should be easily replaced by the version 1.1 without any impact or loss of data for that reason if you need to store data do it in a volume in this case you should always take care of two containers write data on the same volume as it could cause corruption make sure your application are designed to write to a shared data store number 2 don't ship your application in two pieces as some people see containers like a virtual machine most of them tend to think that they should deploy their application into existing running containers that can be true during the development phase where you need to deploy and debug continuously but for a continuous delivery pipeline to qa and production your application should be a part of image remember containers are immutable number 3 don't create large images a large image will be harder to distribute make sure that you have only the required files and libraries to run your application and process don't install unnecessary packages or run commands like yum update that downloads many files to a new image layer update there is another post that better explain the recommendation so that i will read later number 4 don't use a single layer image to make a effective use of the layered file system always create your own base image layer for your operating system another layer for the user name definition another layer for runtime installation another layer for the configuration and finally another layer for your application it will be easier to recreate manage and distribute your image because image are very lightweight so you can share based on your requirement number 
Don't create images from running containers. In other terms, don't use docker commit to create an image. This method to create an image is not reproducible and should be completely avoided. Always use a docker file or any other source to image approach that is totally reproducible. And you can track changes to the docker file if you store it in a virtual repository like git or svn. Number six, don't use only the latest tag. The latest tag is just like the snapshot for Maven users. Tags are encouraged because of the layered file system nature of the containers. You don't want to have surprises when you build your image some month later and figure out that your application can't run because a parent layer from in docker file was replaced by a new version that it is not backward compatible, compatible or because a wrong latest version was retrieved from the build catch. The latest tag should also be avoided when deploying containers in production as you can't track what version of image is running. So about using latest tag during the image or configuration. Number seven, don't run more than one process in a single container. Obviously this is a very important. Containers are perfect to run a single process, HTTP daemon, application server or database server. But if you have more than a single process, you may have more trouble managing, retrieving logs, updating the process individually. Number eight, don't store credential in image, use environment variables. You don't want to hard code any username, password in your image. Use the environment variables to retrieve that information from outside the container. A great example of this principle is the Postgre image. Number nine, don't run processes as a root user. By default, Docker container run as root. As Docker matures, more secure default options may become available. For now, requiring root is dangerous for other and may not be available in all your environments. Your image should use the user instruction to specify a non-root non user for container to run as. Number 10. Don't rely on IP addresses. Each containers have their own internal IP addresses and it could change if you start and stop the container. If your application or microservice needs to communicate to another container, use environment variable to pass the proper host name and port from one container to another container. Hope you understand these things and you will apply during your design. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day.